remember is put on your own oxygen mask first. <coughs> what do I mean by that? Well, when you are traveling, you all know, when you are traveling on the flight, just before taking off, the steward or stewardess tells you that in the event of the oxygen mask falling from the ceiling, put on your oxygen mask first. Why? Because if you try to help someone and you use your oxygen, there is no use. You will lose your consciousness and you will be no help to anyone. I think this is a good reminder in life general too. You need to put yourself first. You need to take care of yourself in order to help before you help anyone else. You should take care of yourself. If you want to help someone and if you burn out before helping them, there's no point. <coughs> there's no point in, there's no energy left in yourself to help anyone else. You should take care of yourself. You should take care of yourself first before helping the others. Let me say why. Because if you are negative or you are weak, you have no energy in yourself and you will burn out, it will, you will feel demotivated, you will feel negative. So you will not be happy to help someone else because you didn't take care of yourself and you don't have enough energy left. How you will help the others? Let me give some tips you can exercise, you can uh, try it out to take care of yourself before you help the others. For example, you need to eat well, you need to exercise around 3 to 4 times a day and sleep well. So it helps you to take care of yourself and you have enough energy left before helping others. It's a circle, it's a life circle. See, if you eat well, you will have, you will be motivated, you will have enough energy to do exercise three to four times a day. You do three to four times, exercise three to four times a day, you will be little tired and you will feel that you need to have enough sleep. This will help you to have good night's sleep. Then, try to learn to say no. This means don't just fulfill the request, whatever you receive. You may be able to fulfill the requir requirement for that moment, but you have other commitments, other priorities. By doing this, you might miss the high prioritized events. In that case, try to say no. Don't think what this person will think if I say no. Don't think what others will think if I say no. Just say no, I can't. That will help you to be motivated, help you to be focused on your agenda and learn to say no. Then, the best part 
is to speak out. When you feel negative or when you feel demotivated, speak out. Speak out to a level-headed person. This will help you to increase your self-esteem. It will bring out all the negatives just by sharing your or when venting out your thoughts and bring it out. It will help you to be yourself, not like putting all the pressure inside and you know, like a high pressure cooker, you keep it inside. It will make noise. It will make noise. So that's that will spoil your day. It will spoil all your all your career. So just speak out with a level-headed person. I do this in my days when I have any problem or some ideas come up. I go, for example, I go to my manager or my professors in of in my university or even with, with my brother. I just share my ideas. This is what I have. Or if I feel some sort of disturbed in my mind, I just go and talk out, and it helps me a lot. So by keeping this as a reminder, it is best for you to prioritize your timing. So put yourself first so that you know how to take care of yourself first in order to give your best to the people in your world. Thank you. Have a good day.